Good morning, and welcome to Fake News. I'm Flint Garrett. Tonight, to start off, we wanted to warn everybody about the thunderstorms and tornadoes in many area, areas of Yeehaw, Texas, while the upper chances in snow. Richard Kimball has a story on that. Hi, I'm Richard Kimball, and I'm the meteorologist of the hour here at Fake News Station. Today, I will be sharing with you some information about the upper south sweater and the five-day forecast for the local Yeehaw, Texas. In the upper south, temperatures are is cold, down to 20 degrees. Along with te the temperatures, they are also experiencing some rainy weather, about five and a half inches of rain. Now for some national weather temps. 70 to 80 in Arizona, 80 to 95 degrees in Cape Town, South Africa, 100 to 110 in Jamaica, and 68 to 76 degrees in Canada. There are some winds sweeping up from the west over the Sorry, Richard, but this just in. We have just found a farmer and ha that has had their house blown away in the storm. Amy Breeze has a story on that. A how does it look down there, Amy? Oh. Thank you, Flint. Yes, the weather here in is awful in Yeehaw. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. Hello, I am Amy Breeze, and I am here live at the scene waiting to get an interview from Crispy Bacon. He is going to share with us what actually happened to his house during the storm and what he had to do to try and save himself and some personal items. Oh, here he comes now. Oh boy, Chris, looks like you just your dog just came out, ran over. What happened? Well, my house just got blown away by a tornado and the thunderstorm was bringing in a ton of rain and my poor pigs have no idea what's happening. So they are locked up in a barn even though they want to be outside playing in the mud. Wow, that sounds awful. What were you doing when you noticed your house starting to blow away? I was outside feeding and grooming my, my animals when all of a sudden my horse started going totally nuts. So I looked out and saw my house starting to blow away. Oh my goodness, that sounds crazy. What was the first thing you did when you saw your house blowing away? First thing I did was rounded up my animals in the barn so they were safe. Then I walked to my house to try and save some things, but when I got about 20 feet away from the house, the door came flying right at me and hit me in the shin. Well, at least you saved your animals. But I hope your leg is okay. Was there anyone that's with you that saw what happened? Yes, my wife was with me as well, but she was in the barn with the animals, so she didn't see me get hurt. Could we have her come talk with us? I'm right here, ma'am. I saw everything. It was horrible. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine, but I'm very sad. We lost everything in our house. When Chris went to try and save some stuff at the house, what were you doing in the barn? I was gathering up stuff in the barn that we might have wanted to take with us when we left. Then I heard a loud scream and right away I knew it, coming from Chris. But he told me no matter what happened to not leave the barn. So I stayed in and then about three minutes later he walked back in the barn with his leg all torn up. What did you do when you noticed what happened to Chris's leg? I got an old blanket and wrapped it up in his leg tight until the ambulance got here. Wow, it must have been the worst storm in a long time. Well, thanks for letting me interview you guys. Back to you, Flint. Thanks, Amy. Now we will send it back to Richard for our five-day forecast. Thank you, Flint. Well, it looks like it will be full of rain. For Monday, there is a high of 65 degrees and a low of 50 degrees with a 70% chance of rain. The wind will blow 25 miles per hour from the west. For Tuesday, it's looking like it's going to be another thunderstorm, but there is no tornado running for the day. The high will be 60 with a low of 40 degrees, and there is a 98% chance of rain, with winds blowing 55 miles per hour coming from the east. For tomorrow, it looks like it's going to be a fairly cold. Wednesday is only a high 60, 50, 45, I mean, sorry, and a low of 35 degrees. The rain is going to hold off until Friday, but wind is supposed to pick up to 60 miles per hour. Then on Thursday, the temperature will be back to a warm, a high of 68 and a low of 60, with 60 mile per hour winds. From the east, it will be mostly cloudy with a little fog and a 40% chance of rain. Then for Friday, it will stay mostly the same, 70 for a high and 65 for a low. There will be a slight chance of rain in the evening, but another, other than that, it will be mostly calm throughout the day. There is a jet stream across the United States 
between the hot and the cold band of air. So if you're going to travel, do it this week. Thanks for that weather forecast, Richard. We will send it back to Amy for some weather precautions and tips to help you out. Thank you, Flint. With any other tornado warnings, make sure and take shelter as quickly as possible in a basement, storm shelter, or bathtub. Well, that's all the information we have for you this morning. If you would like, we have another short show coming on at 10 p.m. to share more precautions or tips for you. Well, that concludes our 9 a.m. news. Thank you for tuning in and stay safe in these weather conditions. Thanks for watching the news.